Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to set up a fiber optic IP camera system. So when do we need to use a fiber optic cable to transmit data for our network? Well, when we are going over like 800 meters or maybe a kilometer or two or three kilometers, this time Ethernet cable will be kind of uh, useless for this, for this amount of distance because mostly Ethernet cables are limited after using all kinds of devices to extend the data, it is done when it reaches 800 meters. So when we want to go over 1,000 meters, we have to start choosing other alternatives, and fiber optic cable is one really useful me method. The fiber optic cable transmits data as like laser beams, which travels at the speed of light. So it's really fast, and it can go for a very long distance. Usually a fiber optic cable will connect to between like buildings or it will go through the whole flyers of stairs of buildings to connect to multiple rooms and it can provide a very large bandwidth as well. So long distance with high bandwidth, it is really often used now. So I have a fiber optic cable connected to our IP camera, IP camera here and our monitor which is our main network. So now we can see that this camera is working properly. You can see a live video feed in front of me moving my hand in front of the camera. So this is a great successful connection. And now I'm gonna go part by part from the monitor to the IP camera to show you the components and the every part of the fiber optic network connection. So first the monitor, we can see, use it to watch our video live video feeds. And then this is connected to our network video recorder since the, the signals are all digital eventually. So we use a network video recorder. And then this recorder is connected to our IP camera with a fiber optic cable in the middle, but there's still a part where we use ethernet cables. You can see there is a this very tiny device connected to these between the ethernet cable and a fiber optic cable. So this is called fiber media converter. The fiber media converter connects to our Ethernet cable to receive the data and then it will convert it into optic signals for the high speed long distance transmission. And right here, we don't just plug the fiber optic cable inside this media converter. We have a very small module. This is a uh, small form factor pluggable, the SFP module. This module, you can, you can think of it will shoot out the laser beams to transmit for high speed and long distance. This is, has very special programs inside. It will go travel in different wavelengths. So then we don't have like same wavelengths and the signals will be Missed up, confused. We will have each color. You can see a corresponding. It's a green one here, and it's a black one here. So they have. Maybe we can tell which one is which really easily. Just remember, we don't want to use the same color on both ends. So then, this this will help convert this. The media converter will help us com convert the signal from digital to optical and the other way back. And the SFP module will help us shoot out the signal. So then after thousands of meters of transmission through the fiber optic cable, it will go to our outdoor device, our outdoor PoE powered switch. This little box here, you can see it is currently on, the indicators are on, this means this is functioning properly. This we connect to, a, to a alternating current directly, so it has a power supply built in, and it will supply power through this, these Ethernet ports and then transmit to this IP camera. So we only use one Ethernet cable to power both, to send both power and data to the camera. Really cool, huh? And also on this side, this is an SFP module and an SFP port. This means the media converter is built inside, integrated to this PoE powered switch. So we don't need another media converter like this independent one here. There is one integrated in here, so we can just simply use a small form factor pluggable this little module connected to the other end of our fiber optic cable and just insert it in and it was capturing the signal and help us convert it and then convert to the digital signal and the digital signal goes to our camera. And it's the same the other way back. So this is how the camera and the and our network exchange the data. 
So another word about our fiber optic cable is there are many types. We have to choose the type that, is, that suits our demands the most. And usually we have to remember we fiber optic cables aren't like Ethernet cables. They're e really easy to, ter to terminate in field. Fiber optic cable requires very precise techniques to connect the end to because the connectors we have to make sure the laser beams do not leak out at all. It's not like they're transmitting on something. It, the fiber optic cable is like a tube with plastic walls or glass walls, depending on the material, and they will bounce up, off, and shoot toward frontwards, and then eventually they'll be stopped here and captured by a small form factor pluggable. And if we have any cracks or when we terminate the the, the cables, we didn't do it correctly, there's a little crack, it will leak out and the signal will lose. So the so signal will be lost and we will suffer from a lot of, you know, sometimes a package loss in our network, that's why this will happen. So, and so usually we can get pre-terminated uh, fiber optic cables from our manufacturers. This is already tested and connected. The only part is you cannot really you know, use however how much you want whenever you're deploying these. But the good thing is you don't have to worry, you don't have to buy all those precise devices, you don't have to worry about if the, the quality of the fiber optic cable is good enough because we all do the test in the factory, so everything is guaranteed. And everything is guaranteed, so we can just simply plug in, plug in, and this network is complete. And remember, when you're using a fiber optic cable, the media converter and the SFP module, small form factor pluggable, is all very important to the whole system. You know, we, it's not like we can leave it out and still make the system work. We have to make sure every part is in place, and then we can you know, convert the signal to fiber optic signals, and then it'll transmit high speed, long distance, to the other end, well, you get it. So that's really much it for this video today. And if you guys have any more questions, leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.